Up to 50% of all dogs are afraid of the sound of fireworks. Many are terrified, to the point of wanting to run anywhere, just to escape the noise. By being prepared, you can avoid anguish, injury, and unnecessary destruction. Prepare early, start today. It's better to be prepared than to be disappointed. The first strategy is to keep your dog stimulated, distracting him by one of three tactics. For dogs who love food, stuff their favorite treats into an appropriate toy using yogurt as a base. Start with hard cookies at the very bottom using a straw to keep the air hole open for safety, taking it out just before serving. I like to top this mixture off with another biscuit or two before freezing. For dogs who love bones, freeze a big meaty bone to make it last longer when using it during holiday fireworks. Special surprises will condition your dog to predict that scary fireworks means it's time for the best treats ever. However, be sure to use them only when you really need them. Otherwise, they're gonna become neither special nor a surprise. You can also stimulate your dog's focus with a fun game of Thunder Tug. Here, each boom of the fireworks outside initiates a tug game inside. Rest your dog and your arm when it's quiet in between those outdoor explosions. Now, chow hounds will prefer a game of good cookie, great cookie. Same concept, but this time the first boom outside is a signal for your dog to chase his good cookie inside, followed by him chasing you to earn his great cookie. Unlike using special surprises, be sure you have a history of your dog playing these two action games prior to his first encounter with fireworks. The next strategy relies on you soothing your dog. Compression shirts can bring your dog a sense of comfort through a swaddling effect similar to that seen with babies. Additionally, soothing can come from your long strokes of your dog's body and ears. Let your strokes mimic your calm demeanor. A relaxed dog starts with a relaxed human. Studies have shown stress during fireworks decreases when the dog's owner is nearby. So plan on staying home with your dog during loud holiday celebrations. And finally, we have settling strategies. These work best when you repeatedly condition your dog in a calmed, relaxed environment prior to using them in a stressful one. Nutraceuticals such as herbs or even melatonin or CBD oil may be effective for your dog, as can the use of aerosol pheromones that get sprayed on your dog's bed or collar or even diffused through the air. Similarly, your dog may respond best to the calming effects of essential oils dripped on their collar or through a room diffuser. When your dog is anxious, he'll let you know where he feels most secure. Often it will be a dark place like his crate. You can make it den-like by covering it with a blanket. Playing classical music or running a fan to create white noise can also help to lower your dog's anxiety. Finally, for those dogs who are really panicky, consult your veterinarian for the appropriate pharmaceutical intervention. There you have it, 20 different ideas for you to try. Now, personally, I use one from each strategy and include several from the settling category. The goal is to make your dog as comfortable as possible, but be strategic. Don't overwhelm your dog with too many at one time. Allow your dog's responses to guide your best decisions.